All right, so on the not so healing bench, we have a supposedly dry type transformer, which is not dry at all. Uh, this smells like a really thick electrical fire. And this sort of epoxy sand-ish mixture, uh, I've tried acetone, it's not dissolving very much. So I'm gonna drill a hole in the bottom plate here and try to do an oil change. All right, so instead of drilling, I noticed this was just a press fit. So I'm gonna to try to knock this end cap off to see if I can access stuff from the underside. Okay, pretty much into the underside here. Um, and this is what I thought. Can't see it yet, but the whole thing's encased. But on the bright side, this gives us a better starting point for the acetone, I think. So I'll save that. Okay. okay, so chipping away at things seems to be a good idea to break this layer. Let me get that layer to get through. This sucks. Okay, so this should be like the transformer phases or blocks should be here, right? And so I'm going to try to drill a hole through and see how thick this internal epoxy coating is. That'll give me an idea of what I need to get done. So I'm going ahead with the Pro Cabinet Installer's classic hunt and peck, leave your drywall looking like a shotgun blast method. Nothing yet. All right. So we've hit different material. Ugh, that's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. Okay, similar in the center, in the same layer, so we know that this is a fully enclosed casing. There's a lot of labor here. Oh Okay, so all of this really moved away quite easily. And that was after having acetone soak in it. So I can assume there's quite a bit here. Uh, I am going to risk it and dump a bunch of acetone in here and then close the lid and then run away. Glug, glug, glug. This may end very, very poorly. I should probably prep for an oil spill. All right, so let's back on. What do I know about risking this? I know that the labor involved in knocking all of those out is not gonna be worth my time in the slightest. I also know that if one of them is messed up, uh, then there could be several that are messed up. So it already doesn't work. So you can't mess it up really anymore. So that's why I'm going all in. Got my multiple layer of pig mats underneath. I'll check it periodically over the next several hours and uh, see if we get anywhere. All right, so the acetone is working slowly. Um, what I've been pushing up there is stuff I can remove, so I'm gonna take the strainer, get it out, and once all the acetone is chemically spent, um, I'll dump some more in. Slow and steady. Okay, this is after leaving it for three days straight, no touchy. Looks pretty good. We are making a lot of progress. You can see the liquid is still down there, so lots of stuff to remove. That's good. Time to shovel it out. Okay, so it's been about a week. Haven't touched this, haven't been here. Took the bottom plate off when I was first to get investigating and this, this seems a little bit, oh, maybe not, no, that's hard. Over here it felt moist, but let's see how far it's come to sitting for a week. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's see how far we go. Not bad. All right, 
kind of scoop it all out. Okay, so as you can see, we've got down pretty far to where we have the connections. There's a little bit of acetone left at the base. Uh, but I'm going to try to just uh, scoop as much of this dry stuff out as I can. Okay, here we are now. I almost wonder if I can sort of chip away at the other side mechanically rather than chemically. Uh, we'll see what they're embedded in. Yeah. Okay, we're well into it now thanks to that trick. You can see that they've actually punctured through on that side, so that's good. Now we got the remaining bits left. Long process. Okay, and so here are all the tire bags. And uh, the setup, as you can see, is acetone filled up to over the edge. Well, not over the edge, but over the about, I don't know, one crock width high, so it covers. And uh, it seems to have done a pretty decent job there. Uh, lots of fumes, but let's take a look. I think we're getting pretty close, if not ready to go on just mechanically separating the rest out. About time. Well, it's still not fully dissolved. That's crazy. It's coming though, but yeah. Okay, so we're pretty much through. I think this can be useful now. We're back here and I can hollow out the rest of it and access <clears throat> the mounting screws. And I flipped it over. The last bit that was securing it here has let go. It is free. Here we are. Not lying in the greatest configuration, but uh, I'll flip them over and start the next phase. Sadly, there's our failure. <sighs> okay. Well, for completeness, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the thickness here. Or at least I'm going to take all the ones off from one side and do the same thing. Maybe I won't touch this coil because this one doesn't look like it has a fault. And then we'll go through and see if there's anything bad in this one.